Right, it's 2010, this is Sheila. I'm now carrying on with my visit to Carlisle in 2006. And we're off to the castle. This castle has played a significant role in some of our family connections in the past. The hassle's been judges and magistrates and sheriffs. Um, so here we go, we're going back to 2006 with Sheila about to enter Carlisle Castle. Hey, it's one o'clock now and I'm off to the castle. I've um, had something to eat in the museum um, restaurant. I've had a look around Tally House and I'm off to the castle now and I might go back to the Guildhall Museum later if I've got time. Right, it was four hours ago, I first turned up here, but it wasn't opening until half nine, so I went off. It's now gone one o'clock. <coughs> I'm walking across the moat bridge, leading up to the castle now, and the big portcullis. Right, I'm in the castle now, I'm going up towards the warden's apartment, up a spiral stone staircase. And oh, can't you hear me wheezing? Bad habits. Oh, I can feel the stonework solidness of this place. <coughs> I've given up smoking, by the way, now nearly a year. You know, I'm just going to take a picture of two very modern looking king and queen chairs and that big pine table. But it's in a great hall of some sort. She's like somewhere now. Right, um. The very big book of castles. This is the kids on the side. This is good. Warden's apartment, apparently, I'm in at the moment. Just making sure I've got some tape left. And in the window here, you've got like big wooden things, but like um, the portcullis thing on the front door that actually comes down. I'm going down some curtains. <coughs> Up a step, and oh, here's a double bed. Oh, look, so modern now. I'm just wondering if this is original or just, uh, you know, would they have the original stuff in here? Fireplace behind there. Part, and there's part of a room in Ulta, found in 1987, which has been reused as the lintel of the modern, of the medieval doorway to your right. Of 
Right, just stopping a minute while I turn the tape over. Right, just to uh, let you know I'm in um, Carlisle Castle at the moment. Having a look round. Because it's start of a new tape. I've just been in the warden's apartment. And I'm just um, trying to see where to go next. Right, I've come down to the battery place where they obviously fired at people. It's dark in a sort of walkway, surrounded by thick walls and little holes with which to shoot out of. I'm going right round that as a battery apparently. And then going up the steep steps towards the keep. Right, I'm in the keep now. Dark. Cold feeling. Dungeons here apparently. I don't know what. Listen to this. It's very dark. It's like a cellar. Oh, it sounds very cold in here. This is inside the keep. Yeah, the jails. interesting because at the time I did that tape I was unaware of our connections to David the first of Scotland and Matilda of Huntington who's one of my great grandmothers going back about 23 24 times David the first of Scotland isn't although we're connected further back to one of his great grandfathers Malcolm the second so we have got quite a few interests in this one way or another back to the tape Okay, I'm 
since discovered that the Hassels were members of a dissenters movement called the Family of Love, which does sound rather strange. Um, so, obviously their leanings were away from Roman Catholicism. He was a Catholic. But anyway, uprisings went on in the 17th century still with uh, Bonnie Prince Charlie and all that going on. Um, and there's more battles going on up to 1745, I think, where um, the Scots did their last big invasion and it all ended up in tears with the Battle of Culloden in the end. And I've been there in the past, 30 odd years ago, I went to back the Culloden field. Now I'm here, it's weird really, isn't it? I'm just going to take a picture of these cannons. On the edge of this tape, and coming to Carlisle Castle, is to try and understand the hassles of the hazels up here now. And what was going on? You know, what, what happened in the past? Oh, this is really creepy what I'm doing now. I'm walking around the battlements and it's really high and I feel sick. Oh, I don't know if I can get a coat with this, but it's really high. Sick. You see this on the films so where they're fighting on the battlements and people are climbing up on ladders to try and get in the castle. Well, I'm not that good at heights, although I have had to sell from this height in the past. I just put my little hands on it. I left it hours ago. My little room. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything else to see. I didn't know if we're allowed any of the other places. 
quite sure. Won't look like we can get to the top of the keep. Probably from the inside only. I've had a walk on the battlements anyway. Alright, I'm sat outside now, got myself a nice cup of tea. I'm gonna have a fag. Don't know if it's allowed, but I'm having one anyway. They can always tell me to put it out. Then I'm going in the records department. Going in the records department, they might have something on the hassles. It would be of use. I don't know if they will, but it's worth going in there just to ask while I'm here. I haven't been up here for 30 years.
somebody or other. I've got two of her books. But I feel like contacting her and say, why don't you start researching a bit earlier about the hassles? So I prefer to call them hassles, really. Hazels. It's all right, I suppose. Anyway, looking out of my window here in the Carlisle dodgy car park, van's all right, not broken, not broken into. I've got a pic I've got a view out of my window of a very busy road. It's very derelict around here. I took a risk park in here, really. Um, but it had filled up the car park. I said, no. I mean, in front of me, there's a wall with barbed wire all around it, you know, and, a, and some tenements that look pretty run down with, you know, some demolished and, you know, it does look rough around here. And um, there's a McVitie's factory, must be a big biscuit factory. There's also a great, I've taken pictures of the great big gum, a great big gum chimney pot as well, I don't know what that does. So I haven't like looked at everything. But uh, I've had an interesting day, like I said it's good to find out what was going on up here, how it influenced the Dalmain crew. And I need to go back there tomorrow, I want to I want to sort of pass them some information, I'm hoping that it will initiate them to give me some information. Um, so tonight I'm going to go back, I'm going to work on that presentation I'm going to give them tomorrow, although I haven't got any paper. I've got to buy paper, didn't I? didn't bring any blank paper, I'm a fool. Um, so I might have to uh, find a garage that's got some paper in it. I forgot, I didn't think when I was out. I can't be bothered to walk back into town now. Um, and it's very busy now, I'm a bit worried about trying to get out. It's like I got here early so that I could avoid, um, you know, traffic jams because of the gear situation. I've got to see if I, I hope I can reverse in a minute, it's going to be funny. It probably will, because it's cool, it'll be okay. As long as I don't have to do any more reversing, I'll be all right. But I really don't know which direction I'm going in yet. I'll get the map out in a minute, but... I might have one of Carlisle, I'm not sure. That's another thing, I should have got a Carlisle map. Uh, I'm quite tired as well, because I went to bed late reading. And I was up again at six. So I was on the road... Um, by six o'clock. I was in Carlisle by seven, parked up here. So it's been a long day, but it's been enjoyable. I'm hoping to go to um, Lady Clifford's um, castle tomorrow when I can plot the route to that. Dalmain I want to go to, and I want to try and bring back some plants growing in their garden. So I thought they would be nice to plant in my garden, so I might buy a few plants and try and keep them alive for a couple of days in the van. Um, I'll just leave them outside the van at night, I think. They get fresh air. I've only got two fags left. Like I say, I really don't feel like walking about anymore now. I'm in the van. It's very busy out there. This is a city after all. Um, when one's doing family tree, one has to think of all these things. And I'm quite hot as well, I'm quite hot walking about with jumpers, coats and things on and big heavy shoes. I'm going to have a little break a minute. But I want to get out of here, there's a few dodgy people that have been sent across there. Um, who might have spotted the van, you know, you don't know, do you? So we might try and break into that, you know. I've had to take a risk today, really. But, um... You know, I've done Carlisle now. I don't really see a great deal point in coming back because the record office, they have got stuff, mind. There are There is stuff because I found it online. I, you know, and if I, if I wanted to, I could have gone um, and dug stuff up. But the, I think Cambridge is going to have more stuff on the early hassles than here. Because we've more or less got the history of them here. It's finding out more about my, you know, my lot, my link, um, further back really now. But you see they might have some info they can provide.
annoyed me. I wonder how George is getting on with the move. I can't phone her. I can't phone anyone at the moment because until I plug my charger in, I can't risk using my phone because I might break down or something and need to get hold of someone. It's gotten a bit flat. <clears throat> so, I shall report again later. Yet. Um, so I don't know if it seems 
be hanging on to their stuff. Um, so it's a bit awkward whether I should hand this in personally or just post it to them. You know, I don't know what to do really. It's, they, the, the, the Frances Wilkins, as the woman who wrote their history books, says if we've got any information, like to pass it on to her. So. Funny, really, I might go down in history in a weird sort of way when they are putting their history together, won't they? Because it was me that provides them with the first pictures that they'd ever seen of Bottisham Place and the Tudor panelling. Um, panelling of their an of our ancestors, John Hassel and his wife Agnes. So, you know, somewhere written in the history, I might surface and um, those pictures might surface in one of their future books provided by Sheila Lockwood because I've already been mentioned in a couple other articles anyway yeah so I'm just going back to the tape nearly finished now I don't know I, I feel that they should have it because, you know you never know it's going to get to them otherwise do you so I might just pop it in I'm just going to go through what I've got a few photos of bottles in place and that that's all really um I do go on to that castle and that will be on a separate um, recording now so I've already done that so we've gone full circle we've we've been up to Carlisle been all round there and the castle and the citadel around the museum wandered about I did go and manage to go and see my friend Eileen um, so that's the end of that for now um, the next other tapes will be my visits to to Dalmain, I, where I wander around the gardens and and things like that, and Dakar, which is just up the road, wi where the, the where the the church is and where all the Hassel memorials and graves are, which was a very exciting find and a very beautiful location. So this is Sheila now in 2010. Uh, I don't have all that wheezing so much now, or hardly at all really. Uh, as I've given up smoking for 11 months. Um, I do get hay fever, so it's always been a bit confusing sometimes, whether it was the smoking or the hay fever, or a combination of both. But I'm hoping that I haven't had any bad chest this year or anything so far. It's, I've been really good since I stopped smoking. No cough, nothing. So it's definitely, you know. So that is the good thing. So we just hope the hay fever might keep at bay a bit because that's quite distressing on its own. We just sneeze all the time, your nose runs and your eyes itch. Um, right, so over and out for now.